Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 2, rational expressions and rational function. Today, we focus on decomposition of rational expressions into partial fractions. So, after revising this lesson, you are expected to decompose rational expressions into partial fractions. So, let's continue to the lesson. Okay, now let's see this one. We obtain the sum of these two rational expressions, 2 over x minus 2 and 3 over x plus 1 as follows. 2 over x minus 2 plus 3 over x plus 1 gives you, to add these two, you take the LCM of the two, since they are, do not have a common, so simply, the LCM is a product of the two. So it is x minus two times uh, x plus one. So divide this expression by x minus two, you get x plus one, multiply it by two, you get two times x plus one, plus, and then divide this by x plus one, you get x minus 2 multiplied by 3, you get this one. So when you simplify this to x plus 3x, it is 5x, and here we have 2, here it is 6, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, negative 6 plus 2 is this, minus 4. So the sum of these two gives you, gives you 5x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 2. But if you write this in this form, 5x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 2, this is equal to, this means it is the sum of 2 over x minus 2, 2 over x minus 2, plus 3 over x plus 1. So, the process of writing a given rational expression in this form, we call it this, the decomposition of rational expression into partial fractions. Okay, the reverse process of writing 5x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 2 as the sum of, the sum of 2 over x minus 2 plus 3 over x plus 1 is called decomposition of rational expressions into partial fractions. Here, 2 over x minus 2 and 3 over x plus 1 are called partial fractions. In rational expression, p of x over q of x, if the degree of p of x is less than that of the degree of q of x, then p of x over q of x is called a proper rational expression. Otherwise, it is called improper rational expression. Now, let's see how to decompose rational expression. Uh, to decompose a rational expression, p of x over q of x, the degree of p of x must be less than the degree of q of x. In the case where the degree of p of x is 
greater than or equal to the degree of q of x, then you have to divide p of x by q of x to obtain p of x over q of x is equal to some quotient s of x plus the remainder r of x divided by the divisor q of x. After writing in this form, you can decompose this expression into partial fraction, where in this case, r of x over q of x, the degree of r of x must be less than uh, the degree of q of x. And then finally, you can decompose this expression into uh, partial fraction. Now, let's see this one. Express x squared plus 5x minus 1 over, over x plus 2 as a sum of a polynomial int and a proper fraction. To write this as sum of polynomial and a proper fraction, we need to divide this one using a long division method. So let's divide this x squared plus 5x minus 1 over x plus 2. So x squared plus 5x minus 1 divided by x plus 2. x squared divided by x is, gives you x. So x times x is x squared x times 2 is this 2x. So subtract this. x squared minus x squared is 0. 5x minus 2x is it is. It is 3x. 3x minus 1 we have there. 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 is this. It is positive 3. So 3 times x it is 3x. 3 times 2 it is positive 6. When you subtract this, 3x minus x 0. Negative 1 minus 6 it is minus 7. Minus 7. So the degree of this is less than this one. So we stop the division process. The quotient it is x plus 3. And the remainder is this minus 7. So I can write this expression as x plus 3 plus negative 7 over x plus 2. So here you have this one. x squared plus 5x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 gives you it is x plus 3 plus negative 7 over x plus 2. This one it is uh, the quotient it is x plus 3 and the remainder here is this minus 7. Therefore, we have minus 7 over x plus 2. So, uh, this how to write a given polynomial, uh, uh, a given rational expression as a sum of polynomial and a proper fraction. It's a polynomial plus a proper fraction. Now, let's continue. Okay, now let's see uh, some uh, guidelines to how to decompose rational expressions into partial fractions. Uh, to do partial fraction for a rational expression, first what you do is factorize the denominator as completely as possible. And then for each factor in the denominator, you can use this table uh, to select what type of uh, constant uh, in the numerator. So for each factor in the denominator, you can use this table to determine the terms you pick up in the partial decomposition or in the numerator part. For example, if you have the factor in the, in the denominator uh, has a form ax plus b, then uh, the partial decomposition part will have this form. The denominator part is ax plus b. The numerator, this one is linear. You take a constant a. So it will have this form. The other form, ax plus b is the power of k. If you have a factor in the denominator like this, so the corresponding term in the partial fraction will be, it is a1 over ax plus b plus a2 over ax plus b squared plus up to the power of k, you proceed up to the power of k, so plus 
a k over a x plus b the power of k where this a1 a2 up to a k are constant numbers okay if you have the factor in the denominator a x squared plus b x plus c with b squared minus 4 a c less than zero the factor in uh, the partial decomposition part will be it is x squared plus b x plus c the denominator part the numerator you take uh, linear uh, form it is x plus b where a and b are constants okay if you have this form x squared plus b x plus c the power of k where b squared minus 4 c is less than zero in this case the corresponding term in the partial fraction will be it is a1 x plus b1 divided by x squared plus b x plus c this part plus x squared plus bx plus c squared the numerator part x linear form so it is a to x plus b2 plus up to you continue up to the case power x squared plus bx plus c the power of k but the numerator part uh, it takes a linear form so it is a kx plus bk now let's continue to example here uh, we are asked to decompose 7x plus 6 over x squared plus x minus 6 into partial decomposition. So before you decompose the given rational expression, first you have to factorize the denominator completely. So 7x plus 6 over x squared plus x minus 6, this equal to it is 7x plus 6 divided by, when you factorize this, you will have this one. x plus 3 times x minus 2. The product gives you minus 6. The sum gives you positive 1. So, after this, what you do is just, you use uh, the guideline listed in the table. So, here we have linear terms. So, write uh, the, in the denominator part, x plus 3. For x plus 3, you will have some constant a. And plus, you have x minus 2 here. For this part, you have another constant b. So, after this, you need to find the constant terms a and b. So, to find that, you fall like this. This implies that this expression is as it is, 7x plus 6 over x plus 3 times x minus 2. This equals to the LCM of this expression is a product x plus x plus 3 times x minus 2. When you divide this by x plus 3, you have x minus 2 times a, a times x minus 2. Plus, when you divide this by x minus 2, you will have x plus 3, b times x plus 3, b times x plus 3. So, these two rational expressions are equal, since they have the same denominator, you can locate their numerator for any real number x. Therefore, this implies that 7x plus 6, this gives you a times x minus 2 plus b times x plus 3. So, since this expression is true for any values of x, I can take any values of x so that I can determine the value of a and b. If you take two values, since we have two variables, just putting two values for x, you can d determine two equations and then you solve simultaneously. But this is the easiest way for this is taking the value of x to be 2, this becomes cancelled or 0, so you can find the value of b. Therefore, here, therefore here, for 
x is equal to 2, our expression will be 7 times 2 plus 6 is equal to a times 2 minus 2 plus b times we have taken x to be 2 so 2 plus 3 so this cancels it's 0 7 times 2 is 14 14 plus 6 is 20 20 gives you 5b so this implies dividing by 5 both sides you get b to be 4 b is equal to 4 and again to find the value of a if you take x to be negative 3 this cancels so that you can find easily the value of a so for x is equal to negative 3 the expression will be 7 times negative 3 plus 6 7 times negative 3 plus 6 this is equal to a times in place of x minus 3 minus 2 plus b times negative 3 plus 3 so from this you have this becomes 0 so 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 negative 21 plus 6 is this negative 15 so you have this one negative 15 is equal to minus 5 a. So this implies dividing both sides by negative 5, you have A is equal to 3. So since we have found the value of A and B, so the decomposition will be written in this form. We have found A and B, therefore uh, 7x. 7x plus 6 divided by x squared, x squared plus x minus 6, this is equal to, the value of a is this, 3, so we put 3 here, 3 over, 3 over x plus 3, plus the value of b is it is, 4, so here you have, 4 over 4 over x minus 2. So this will be the decomposition of this expression into a partial fraction. Now let's proceed to the next example. Decompose x over x cubed minus x plus 2 into partial fractions. So before you decomposing this to partial fraction, you need to factorize this expression. x cubed, x cubed minus 3x plus 2. To decompose this, this is a degree 3 polynomial, so I need to find one factor using uh, a test number uh, by taking the factor, the ratio of the factor of 2 to the ratio of the factor of the quotient of this one. I need to find first one factor. If you take 1, for example, 1 minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. 1 minus 3 plus 2, it gives you 0. So, one of the factor of this expression will be this. When you substitute 1, it becomes 0. So, it, this expression is divisible by x minus 1. So, divide this expression by x minus 1. So, x cubed divided by x it is x squared, x squared times x it is x cubed minus x squared, x squared. So, subtract this. This becomes 0, this becomes plus, it is x squared minus 3x plus 2. 
x squared divided by x is this positive x plus x. So this will be this x squared x times minus 1 is this minus x and then subtract this one. So this becomes 0, this plus minus 3x plus x is this minus 2x plus 2. So divide this one, minus 2x divided by x, it is minus 2. Minus 2 times x is this, minus 2x. Minus 2 times 1 is this, positive, so there is no remainder. So we have one factor, x minus 1, and we need to factorize this also. Our expression x cubed minus 3x plus 2 is a product of the two, the product of the two. So here, so I need to factorize this one. Here, I can write x cubed, x cubed minus 3x plus 2. This is equal to this, the product of x minus 1 and x squared plus x minus 2. So this gives you this x minus 1 times this one will be this the product of x minus 2 and x plus 2 and x minus 1. The product of 2 and minus 1 gives the sum, gives you this coefficient. So that's right. Therefore, the factorization of x cubed minus 3x plus 2 will be x minus 1 squared times x plus 2. So after this, we have this one. x over x cubed minus 3x plus 2 is simply this x over x minus 1 squared times x plus 2. So, since this x minus 1 is squared, you have this term is for x minus 1 squared using the guideline of the table. So, x minus 1 and x minus 1 squared up to x minus 1 squared. So, the terms are uh, linear. So, you take constant number on the numerator. Therefore, x minus 1 a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared. For this one, x plus 2, another constant number in the numerator, c over x plus 2. So, simplifying this, you will have this one. The real same is this, x minus 1 squared times x plus 2. If you divide this by x minus 1, you have x minus 1 times 1, x minus 1 constant, so you have x minus 1 times x plus 2 times a, plus this, when you divide this expression by x minus 1 squared, you will have only x plus 2 multiplied by b, you have this 1, and plus, when you divide this by x plus 2, you have only x minus 1 squared, so multiplied by c, you have this 1. So from this, equating these expressions are equal. They have the same denominator, so their numerator must be equal. This means x is equal to this 1, a times x minus 1 times x plus 2 plus b times x plus 2 plus c times x minus 1 squared. So, to find now the variables a, b, and c, you have to be wise in selecting the value of x. By the way, since we have three variables, you can develop three equations from this expression by taking three different values of x. But when you select, you have to be wise select the values of uh, x that makes a certain expression zero, so, in th so that you'll get the answer easily. Therefore, if you select one, this becomes zero, so you can easily find the value. For x equals to one, this expression becomes zero, and this, part, this becomes zero. The remaining part only, you place one in place of x, this equal to, these two cancels, only this remains 1 plus 2, it is 3b, 3b. Therefore, from this, b give is equal to this, 1 over 3. To find the other variable, let's select x equal to negative 2. You have this only, the remaining part cancelled, this one, this one cancels. So, negative 2 minus 1 here, minus 3, square it, it is squared times c. So, this implies... This 9, this minus 2, to find c, divide by 9 both sides, you will have minus 2 over 9. c is this, minus 2 over 9. 
Next, we do have uh, value of x that makes uh, this expression 0 other than 1 and minus 2. So you have to select any other number to find the value of a. Since we have found b and c, you can select any number to uh, find the value of the remaining variable. So the easiest way to find it, select a very small number so that you can easily uh, solve the expression. So let's take uh, x. You can select any number, by the way, but uh, for simplicity, let's select x equal to 0. So if you put 0 here, 0 is equal to a times 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 plus 2 is this positive 2 plus b. We have found the value of b. The value of b is this 1 over 3. So you put 1 over 3 times 0 plus 2. Uh, it is 2. And c, we have found the value of c it is minus 2 over 9. Uh, times 0 minus 1 squared. 0 minus 1 squared is positive 1. 1 times minus 2 over 9 is this, minus 2 over 9. So solving this expression for a, you will have the value of a to be this, 2 over 9. So the final answer will be, since we have found the variables a, b, and c, the final answer will be uh, this one. The final answer will be, we have found the value of a, uh, the value of a is 2 over 9, therefore it is 2 over 9, x minus 1, plus the value of b is found, it is, the value of b it is, it is 1 over 3, therefore here you put 1 over 3, x minus 1 squared, and then we have the value of c also here, therefore c over x plus 2 in place of c minus so minus 2 over 9 times x plus 2. So the decomposition of the rational expression uh, x over x cubed minus 3x plus 2. Now let's continue to the next example. Here we have 5x squared minus 8x plus 5 over x minus 2 times x squared minus x plus 1. And let's decompose this into partial fraction. Okay. To decompose this expression, Using the guideline we listed earlier, for x minus 2, you take the constant in the numerator part, plus, since this 1, if you check this, cannot be factorized. If you check b squared minus 4ac, it becomes less than 0. So, uh, for this case, put this 1, and the factor you take on the numerator will be this uh, half a linear form, so it becomes bx plus c. So, after this, we need to find the variables a, b, and c. So, to find this, let's combine these two. This expression is equal to, when you combine these two, they are the same as the product of the two. Divide this by x minus 2, you have only this one, multiplied by a, a times x squared minus x plus 1. Plus, when you divide this expression by x squared minus x plus 1, you have only x minus 2. So, multiply bx plus 3 by x minus 2. You'll have this. Since these two expressions are equal, the factors on the remunerator must be equal since their denominator are equal. So, you'll have this one. 5x squared minus 8x plus 5 must be equal to a times x squared minus x plus 1 plus x minus 2 times bx plus c. So, to find the variables a, b, c, you can just select any values of x so that develops three equations, since we have three variables. But the easiest way is to select a number that makes the terms zero. So, if you take x to be 2, for this expression, this becomes zero, so that you can find the value of a. Therefore, here you have, when put x, to be 2, so 5 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 5, this must be equal to a times, we have just selected 2, so 2 squared minus 2 plus 1, plus this term is 0, when you put 2 here, 2 minus 2 it is 0, 0 times this one is 0, so you will have this term only. So when you solve this uh, for a, you will have a to be 3. And then, to find 
The other variable, if you select 0, the B term becomes cancelled so that you can find the other variable. Therefore, here, putting 0 in the given this equation, you'll have this one. 5 times, well, select 0, 0 squared minus 8 times 0 plus 5. This must be equal to, we have found the value of A. So, it is A is it is 3. The value of A is 3. So, 3 times 0 squared in place of x minus 0 plus 1 plus, here we selected x 0, so 0 minus 2 times, this becomes 0 since x is 0, 0 times b is 0 plus c is c. So, solving this for c, you have c to be, it is negative 1. Okay, now, since we have found A and C, now the remaining variable is B. So, to find B, you can select any number and develop an equation so that you can find B. So, X to be 1. So, in place of X, select 1. So, it is 5 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1 plus 5. It gives you, we have found A is 3, so put 3 times 1 squared minus 1 plus 1 plus here we have 1 in place of x 1 minus 2 times b times 1 minus 1 so solving this solving this expression for b you will have b to b it is 2 therefore the final answer or the decomposition of the expression will be it is 5x squared minus 8x plus 5 over x minus 2 times x squared minus x plus 1 will be equal to 3 over x minus 2 plus uh, 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 because we have found a so in place of a put 3 so it is 3 over x minus 2 plus bx plus c. Our b is 2, so it is 2x. c is this minus 1, 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x minus 1. So this will be the final answer. Okay, now the next example, let's see this one. x cubed over x squared minus 4x plus 3. Let's decompose this into a partial fraction. When you see this, Rational expression, this is not a proper rational expression because the degree of numerator is greater than the degree of denominator. So in this case, you have to divide this expression first. So x cubed divided by x squared minus 4x plus 3. So, x cubed divided by x squared is x times. You have x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x. Subtract this. When you subtract this, this cancels. This becomes positive 4x squared. And this becomes minus 3x. So, divide this expression by x squared, it becomes 4. 4 times x squared is this, 4x squared. And 4 times minus 4x is this, minus 16x. And 4 times 3 is this, plus 12. So, Subtract this. When you subtract this, this becomes 0. This plus, plus 16 minus 3 is 13x. And this is minus 12. So, 
x cubed over x squared minus 4x plus 3 will be written in this form. The quotient x plus 4 plus the remainder 13x minus 12 divided by the divisor x squared minus 4x plus 13. After this, what you do is simply you have to decompose this expression. To decompose this first, you need to factorize the denominator. So you have this one, 13x minus 12 divided by, factorizing this, you have this one, x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. The product gives you 3, the sum gives you minus 4, yes. So, to decompose this, simply you have this one, a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 3. So, from this, you have this one, 13x minus 12, 13x minus 12 must be equal to the numerator part, only taking the numerator part, since you have same denominator. So you have a times x minus 3 plus b times x minus 1. So from this, taking the value of x to be 3, for x to be 3, for x equals to 3, you have this one, 13 times 3 minus 12, this equal to this cancels, 3 minus 1 is this 2 to b, 2 b, therefore 39 minus 12, 39 minus 12 uh, gives you this 27, therefore 27 is equal to 2 b, so from this dividing both sides by 2, you have b is equal to 27 over 2. And for x equals to 1, when you put 1 here, 13 minus 12 is 1. 1 is equal to, when you put 1 here, 1 minus 2 is this, negative 2a. Minus 2a, this becomes 0. Therefore, from this, you have a is equal to negative 1 over 2. So, the decomposition of this expression will be this, negative 1 over 2 times x minus 1 plus 27 over 2 times x minus 3. So this is it. So the final decomposition of the given expression is this one. So to summarize what we have seen today, to do partial fractions for rational expression, first factorize the denominator as completely as possible. And then use this a uh, guideline table uh, to find the factors on uh, the partial decomposition part. And then uh, try to find the unknown variables. So uh, this is all about today's lesson. Uh, please try exercise uh, on page 50, exercise 2.5, and read examples on page 48 up to 50. So this is all about today's lesson. Until next lecture class, goodbye.